Welcome to another big video on eFootball 2024. Um, this is the mid-season roundup, mid-season recap, um, also the transfer window. Uh, not, sure if, not sure if I mentioned it a few games ago, but I did say that the transfer window would be right around the 18th match. Um, I said the 18th and the 19th were well, apparently um, the last game of the year was the 17th match and we're now at the transfer window and i want to say i will be doing some changes to the squad not too many changes i'm pretty happy with the team overall but there are just a couple players that i do have problems with but before we get into all of that i do want to do a quick recap on where we are as a team so at the beginning of the season we brought in Mauricio Sarri um, as the manager and we decided to basically get rid of everyone in the club and start a new like I said this is a what if Olympic Lyonnais series basically what if better different decisions were made prior to the 23-24 season for our real life counterparts that led to them being at the bottom of the table for most of the of the first half of the season and they're currently doing okay in the league i believe they're somewhere around 9th or 10th at the moment i did not check recently um, but they're, they're doing okay but at the, at the beginning of the season they they were horrible terrible nothing was going well for them and that's for many reasons i'm not gonna get into so in this uh fictitious um playthrough what if olympic Lyonnais better decisions were made better financial decisions better uh, better hiring decisions better um, scouting decision decisions were made to actually make olympic Lyonnais a challenging team not only in the league but also in europe now Currently, at the top of the league, our rivals, Paris Saint-Germain, they've been winning all their games for some reason, but they, they've done similar to us. Um, the, only, the only thing that separates us is the goal difference. They've been very, very defensive, so they've only allowed in 13 goals. And we've scored 47, allowed 21, so they have a better goal difference than us putting them in first place we're in second we're both on 44 points marseille right behind on 35 points loss monaco on joint 37 Stade René on 32, Lille on 28, Havre on 23, Nice 22, Montpellier on 20, Vence 19, Stade Brest 18 points, Clermont on 16, Strasbourg on 14, jointly with Toulouse. Then we have Metz, Lorient, and Nantes at the bottom of the table on 13, 11, on, and 8 points respectively. So, this is what the table is at. I'm, I've pretty much written off. I, I think Lorient and Metz are going to improve in the second half of the season, but I'm not too sure about Strasbourg and Toulouse, but not. I think Nantes is done. So this is it for the recap we sit in a very good position as you can see paris top of the league 44 we're on 44 as well in second uh, marseille not far behind on 38 points hopefully paris actually loses a couple games so we could actually take the lead but again even if paris wins loses or draws we have to maintain our form we have to continue winning because we cannot simply depend on them losing we cannot allow them to move away from us now speaking of the transfers there are only two transfers that I want to actually make in this playthrough, and that would be first it would be Paul Pogba. I'm not sure what it is. Paul Pogba is one of the players that I kind of use almost all the time. I have Paul Pogba a lot in, in the squads that I do use, but for some reason in this mighty campaign, he hasn't been working out for me. He's been very poor. I'm not sure what it is. I can't really say. So he's gonna be heading out the club. 
um, I would rather use a player, have a player that I could actually use in this playthrough and he actually works out for us. Um, Paul Popper hasn't been doing it. I do love Paul Popper, he's one of my favorite players out there. I believe he's the greatest midfielder France has, has ever had. Um, if you've never watched him play, do go on YouTube, you'll find highlights of Paul Pogba, um, especially in the, his first stint at Juventus. He was an absolute menace. His passing, his ability to hold on to the ball and dribble past, uh, past players, um, his vision, his technique, the pop up guy is absolutely brilliant, but for some reason he has not been working out for me, so he will be heading out the door. Another guy who's be, who will be heading out the door as well, Conte. Conte has not been working out for me for the simple fact that it's, it's not that he's not technically gifted, he's not a great defensive midfielder, he is, he's been great at Leicester, great, great at Chelsea, um, I believe he won at Chelsea as well, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, he's been great for France, great at Chelsea, great at Leicester where he basically blew up, but he's too small, too short. And I really need some presence in the midfield. I need I need a big body in the midfield. Um, Witzel is doing that for me. He's basically a, he's basically a monster in the midfield, doing the bits for us. And then at centre mid, I also have Ndombele, who's another big, tall body in the midfield, able to able to win aerial duels. Um, not some not something Kante can do. Kante cannot win any aerial duels for me. He has never won. I, I've played him many times. I thought maybe I was playing him the wrong way in uh, the Miley playthrough, but for some reason, even when I play against the AI in the events, he he never wins an aerial duel. He's good on the ball, uh, great defensive mid. He's good. But I need a presence in the midfield, and he doesn't do that for me. Um, so, Paul Pogba and Conte will be heading out of the team. The guys I'm going to be bringing in are going to be coming in for a specific purpose. Um, I'm going to have a, a, I'm going to bring in a defender. Um, he's a right back who plays very well in center back as well because I do want to switch between three in the back to back, eight to four back, in the back. back. We already have Digne, um in the team who play, who's play, who plays left back and, and some center back. I will be... Oh, I'm wondering whether I should actually get rid of Digne as well. No, I'm not gonna get rid of him. I'm gonna keep him. Uh, I wish he was better. He he was better in centre back. That would have been great. But I do plan to switch between four in, at the back and three at the back. Three at the back being my main. Uh, this form formation, as you see, it is my main formation. But I do want to be switching as well. So I'm gonna be bringing in a, a right back who also plays centre back as well. And I'm also going to bring another center mid um, to give uh, Ndombele some rest. He can sub in whenever I need to. And hopefully my choices actually works out uh, in this playthrough. But without further ado, I'm going to be presenting the players who will be coming in for us. Replacing Paul Pogba and Conte, the first player coming into the club is... Fernando Goriaran. Uh, the Uruguayan international started his career at his local club River Plat Montevideo. Then he played two seasons at the Hungarian side Ferenc Varos. He's currently returning for his second spell in European football. We snapped him up from Tigres. Uh, he joined Tigres in December 2022, I believe and has since played 41 matches for the Mexican side, as many other players before him when the bright lights of Europe uh, calling. It's really hard for a player to say no. So Olympic Lyonne has snapped up Fernando Goriaran. As you can see, he's a versatile midfielder. The only downside I would say 
to him. His height is his only downside, I would say. I wish he was a little faster, but I will take that 73 on speed, 77 on acceleration. He's a little, he's a bit defensive minded. Um, he's aware and he engages defensively. Pretty good player. Um, decent on set pieces, um, curly 76. And like I said, he's a very versatile midfielder. He's listed as a central midfielder, can also play defensive mid. Um, he starts, he can cut behind and turn, soul control, acrobatic finish, heel trick, through passing, basically a, a creative type of player with pinpoint crossing. He's a penalty specialist and very tricky. Um, so he will be coming in, I would say, to replace Paul Pogba. Now, there is no comparison between the two players, I would say. Um, you can't co compare Paul Pogba with him, but we will take what we can. So Fernando Goriaran comes in for us. He will be the newest player at Olympic Lyonnais in this squad if Olympic Lyonnais played for him. And the second player coming into the club is actually the defender, Luis Charel Gertrude. He's a 23-year-old, versatile defender. I've seen in some places they actually say he's a midfielder as well, but he's very versatile. He can play in the right-back position and centre-back, like I said in the beginning of the video. I'll be bringing in someone who could actually switch from right-back center back because I do my the main formation for this side is a three in the back but I also will be switching to four at the back uh, as well he'll fit in pretty well with the club uh, being able to play in the center back role and right back role but as you can see he can also play as a defensive mid a right back and a right mid a right midfielder as well like i said in some in different areas on the, on the internet i've seen that they call him a def uh, defender they call him a midfielder so um, very versatile uh, his life rating is currently excellent a 23 year old he, he's tall very tall and his stats are awesome but that is because that because I have he has been boosted quite a bit I believe when when I got him he was 78 I believe 78 um, he currently plays for for Feyenoord since 2017 he's a very good player very fast def defensive minded uh, his tackling is awesome uh, I've seen some clips of him where he slides he slides a lot and he wins the ball pretty good defender he will be excellent for us I've actually seen areas on the internet where it's been said that Bayern and Barcelona have been scouting him they've been looking into him um, so t he's really a talented player for one to have he will be very good for us um, his heading is, is decent his passing is great his dribbling ball control is good especially for a defender that's pretty awesome um, I love the fact that he's very fast and I believe he would be fun to play with well I, I would say it sucks for Barcelona and, and Bayern because uh, we have snapped him up at Olympic Lyonnais um, hopefully he will be doing the beats for us um, currently his skills are long throws with man marking slight tackle like I said he's he, he's very defensive minded and he tackles a lot he slides a lot clearance and fighting spirit I will be uh, boosting his player skills quite a, quite a bit I will be using some of the player skill cards to actually boost him up um, he is our second newest entry for the, the second half of the season at the Olympic Lyonnais um, this is one of the formations that um, I've actually come come up with uh, with Gertrude and Kohan in the side. 
Um, it will vary how I play them in the, in the club. There are many ways I could actually play this side, 3 out of back, 4 out of back. I have some versatility there. Um, there are many options for for me to uh, switch um, formations during the second, second half of the season. This is what the club looks like. I look forward to catching you guys in the next video where we actually will be taking on Claremont Foot, March Day 18. This is January, transfer window, second half of the season. We need to get ahead of PSG. Hopefully, the players we have brought in will actually do the bits for us. I look forward to catching you guys in the next video. Have a good one.